In January 2013, ComputerShare introduced a new statement for employee plan participants. Most of the changes are specific to the look of the statement, but we also added sections which provide you with valuable information related to your employee plan holdings. In this video, we highlight and explain some of the new statement's features. Let's begin with the Summary of Account Holdings section of your statement. This section now includes an opening balance and share or unit activity for all types of holdings. We also show a valuation of all shares. The Year-to-Date Plan Summary is a new section on the statement which shows you all of your employee plan activity up to the statement date. This section shows total dollars for transactions such as sales, purchases, and dividends as well as the number of units or shares. The Transaction Activity section shows every transaction that occurred for the statement time period in chronological order. This section also shows you a rolling balance of the number of shares you held at any given time. For qualified employee plans, the statement now shows the grant date, fair market value at grant, the purchase date, and the fair market value at purchase. For non-qualified employee plans, the statement shows the purchase date and fair market value at purchase. The Sale and Disposition Details section is a new section on the statement which provides you with information related to the cost basis of the shares which were debited from the account during the statement period. You can see the acquisition date, cost basis, and the covered or non-covered indicator for the shares. You might see blank spaces in this section for certain non-covered transactions if the information was not available to ComputerShare. The information we provide in this section will help you in determining the amounts to report to the IRS. However, as cost basis is subject to change, please use the final tax information we provide on your year-end 1099-B form. If you have questions related to your statement, please contact ComputerShare by logging on to our website at www.computershare.com or by calling the phone number that is printed on your statement.